welcome to my channel my name is Fatima and today we're doing a get ready with me video so we're doing makeup and hair starting with hair first um, so Asteria here sent me this wig this is their 22 inches water wave 180% density um, so before we get started I'm just going to show you guys quickly what the box looks like this is how it came in um, they sent me some scarves as well these are some pretty cute prints satin scarves and a headband, wig cap, a bag to store your wig in, which says Asteria on it as well. And then they also sent me this, um, I guess this is to secure your wig in the back. And like I said, we're doing makeup in here today. So yeah, I really like how this turned out. This is a closure wig. Um, and I love curly hair. I'm obsessed with curly hair. So yeah this is just a look if you guys like how this turned out of course leave a like leave some comments down below and i will see you guys in the next video okay so now i'm just trying on the wig to see how it fits i got this wig in a cap size small because i do have a smaller head um but this wig did fit kind of snug like super tight not super tight but a little bit snug on me but i kind of like it that way um so now i'm just putting some cream concealer on my wig cap i'm not doing the whole wig cap method i'm basically just gonna glue the wig cap as is on my forehead using got to be which is what i've been doing lately i really like this way because it's just a whole lot easier <laughs> than the other method where you have to like cut the lace cut the cap off and stuff like that And now I'm putting cream concealer onto the lace cream concealer that matches my skin tone. This is also HD lace that they sent me. So this blended really well and with my skin tone, you guys are going to see once I cut the lace off, um, it was giving scalp, okay? Um, but they sent me a 5x5 closure. I'm super into closures and I was so happy when they said they wanted to send me a closure because I've been needing closures so much. Sometimes frontals are just such high maintenance and especially for someone who obviously i have a lot of wigs so i'm i'm accustomed to frontals and how high maintenance they are but if anyone is looking to you know get wigs for the first time or anything like that i definitely always recommend closures as like a first wig option because it's just so much easier <laughs> like frontals are kind of hard to maintain like you know they look really good but the maintenance on it is just a lot um whereas closures it's just it's just really easy you just tie it up at night when you wake up you might not even have to do anything to it it probably already looks good enough for you to just go out the house whereas frontals you probably have to do something to the lace in the morning um just to make sure that everything looks good so that's just something to note as well okay so back to this install as you guys saw i used got to be to melt this lace into my skin and then I'm using an eyebrow razor as usual to um, cut the lace off. I like using an eyebrow razor because it gives you a jagged line. Um, and then I'm going to go again with got to be and then using the end of my rat tail comb, I'm going to go in with a blow dryer and just make sure that everything is like seamless and melted in because when you cut off the lace with your eyebrow razor, a little bit lifts up and it creates like a white cast on your forehead. So this just makes sure that everything is actually glued down or not glued down but like stuck down to your forehead and now for the baby hairs i'm doing my usual which is two swoops on each side i wanted to try something different this time around and i wanted to see if it would actually look good if i swoop the baby hairs without cutting it you know like instead of cutting the baby hair short i just want to see if i could just swoop it in in the end it didn't look good but i think it's because i did i tried this on a closure i'm gonna try this technique again on a wig and see if i can make do because sometimes i don't like cutting my baby hairs because it just messes it up especially if you want to change parts later on you have all these like little hairs in the front of your hair sometimes that bothers me but yeah whatever i'm gonna try this again on a wig 
so yeah as you guys can see um i ended up just cutting the baby hairs because it wasn't really working out um but originally what i used to lay down the baby hairs is gorilla snot edge control and then now i'm going in with mousse to just make sure everything is flat again And I'm not even into like middle swoops anymore, but I did add one in here because I felt like my forehead was mad exposed with this closure. Like usually my wigs, I like bring it um, really down on my forehead just to kind of hide it a little bit, you know, to finesse a little bit. <laughs> but this wig fit pretty tight on me, so I couldn't really finesse like I usually do and bring my, um, my wig down just to hide my forehead a little bit. So yeah, I added like a middle swoop just to kind of hide my forehead just a tad bit and then of course i'm doing what i usually do so i'm using my care care wax stick and then going on top of that with my um, hot comb just to make sure everything is flat in the front and then i am going in with concealer to create my part i'm also going to be using the black spray because as you guys can see there are spots where i kind of over plucked a little bit in the front so just to conceal that i will be using the black spray And we're pretty much done the install. This is why I love closures because it's just so quick, so easy. Um, so now I'm just brushing all of the curls out with a Denman brush. And then I'm going to go in with water and mousse to um, define the curl. Mind you, I definitely, definitely recommend to go out and get curly hair products. I need to go out and get me some curly products. Um because mousse and water just isn't really cutting it anymore and i feel like when you have actual curly hair products it really helps to define the curl as you guys will see later um when my hair dries up when i do the makeup par portion of this video the curl kind of like poofs up a little bit um so if you're looking like i said if you're looking for that really defined curl look you can definitely achieve it with this wig because this this wig has a really nice curl pattern you just need to go out and get like the correct product so i'm about to go out to the beauty supply soon and get some like aunt jackie's or meow type products i don't really even really know i'm about to search it up and see So I did end up cutting layers in the hair. I felt like, you know, the hair didn't really have a shape. It was all just kind of one length and I wanted to add some dimension. So I did cut the front just a tad bit um, and I felt like it helped a little bit. I was scared to really go in and add like a lot of layers because I was scared I might, you know, mess it up. But I did do a little bit. Okay, so now we're finally onto the makeup portion of the video. We're done here. So I'm using Milk Primer as my primer. And then I'm going in with cream concealer um, on certain like dark marks on my face just to clear that up before I put my foundation on. For foundation, I'm using NARS MAC foundation. Um, NARS MAC, NARS Matte <laughs> foundation. Um, I'll put everything on the screen. I'm using the shade Macau. I recently purchased this. This was actually my first time using this foundation, so I still don't know how I feel about it. Um, but it is pretty lightweight though. Um, and then of course I buffed that out with my foundation brush. I'm going under eyes with concealer. I'm also putting that on my forehead, my nose, and my chin and blending that out with a beauty blender that I got from e.l.f. I so love this beauty blender. Aaliyah J, I think Aaliyah J was the one who mentioned this beauty blender, which is super cheap from e.l.f. obviously, and it's so soft. I love it. Um, and then I'm going over top of the initial concealer with a lighter concealer. Um, I'm letting that dry for a little bit. Before I blend out that concealer, I am putting some contour on my cheeks and then I will blend that out. And once that's blended out, I'm gonna go in and blend the concealer, the lighter concealer. So the concealer that I'm using, that I'm blending out now is really just to brighten everything out because the last concealer was pretty close to my skin tone.
and yeah this concealer is pretty light so i definitely have to make sure that everything is blended out and there's no like harsh marks or marks of demarcation um so yeah i blended that out using my foundation brush and now we're going under eyes with my powder which is from huda beauty i think i use the shade blondie um putting that everywhere i place concealer of course and then after that we're gonna contour i'm pretty sure oh no reverse contouring first and now we're contouring or i guess bronzing i'm using mocha mommy to do so i'm putting that where i put my contour and i put a little bit on my forehead as well and a little bit on my chin area and then we're going on top of that with a blush i love blush i'm super into blush now i never used to really be into blush but now i love blush and i'm going in with mocha mommy on my lids and i'm also using that to contour my nose um, and then I'm going with blush as well on my lids. I love how that looks. It really ties everything together when the same products that you use on your cheeks, you use on your eyes. So that's a little trick that I like to do. Okay, so now we're doing lips. Honestly, lips have definitely become my favorite part of doing my makeup because it really just brings your whole look together. Um, I'm outlining my lips with a brown lip liner that I got from the beauty supply. And then I'm going on top of my lips with a matte lip cream shade from NYX. This is this light pink color. And then of course we're doing highlights on the top of my cheeks and on my nose. And then I'm going to go over top my lips with some lip gloss. This is Fenty Gloss Balm. And then I'm going to redo my whole lip combo. So on top of that, I'm going to go in with my lip liner and the same lip shade from NYX. And yeah, that's really going to give you like that lined glossy look which is super cute and we're pretty much done here thank you so much to Asteria hair for partnering up with me on this video this hair is bomb this makeup look is bomb this whole look looks super cute if you guys like this video of course hit the like button leave some comments down below um and of course subscribe for more videos like this i will see you guys in the next video